Welcome to Interview Pro. In this video, let's solve another lead code problem to verify pre-order sequence in a binary search tree. As per the problem statement, we will be given an array of unique integers and in the pre-order, if that forms a correct pre-order sequence of a binary search tree, we have to return true. Otherwise, we have to return false. Let's take an example with an array of uh, integers. So let's try to form a binary search tree. When we say pre-order, it's root, left, and right. So first we have uh, 10, we'll insert it. Then we have uh, six, then we have three. We have already inserted the root node and also the left node. Then comes the right node, which is seven. Now we have a node 13, which comes to the right of 10. Then we have 12, which has to go to the left. Yes, it is less than 13, so it goes to the left, which is correct. Then we have 15. We have already finished the uh, root, which is 13, left, which is 12. Now we have to put it to the right. Does 15 go to the right? Yes, because it's greater than 13 and also greater than 10. So we have 15 to the right. This is a correct pre-order sequence of the binary search tree. Let's take another example where I'll replace number 13 with 5 from the previous example. So insert node 10. We have inserted root. Now we have to go to left. So 6 is less than 10. So it goes to the left, which is correct. This In this uh, recursion, now 6 is the root. Then we have 3, which has to go to the left. 3 is less than 6. So yes, it goes to the left. Then we have 7, uh, which is greater than 6. So we have filled root, left, and now 7 is going to right. So this subtree is a proper pre-order sequence. Now we have node 5, which is less than 7. So it goes to the left of 7. But every node that is to the right of 6 should be greater than 6. Now, when we inserted 5 to the left of 7, we have to make sure that it is greater than 6. But 5 is not greater than 6. So, this is not a valid binary search tree pre-order sequence. Let's try to solve this problem. So, let's go back to example 1 again. And every time we visit a node, let's track it using a stack. So, 10. As soon as we see a node 10, which is valid, just push it onto the stack. Now we have 6. This is also a valid node. So push it onto the stack. Then we have 3. This is also valid. So push it to stack. Now we have 7. In order to insert 7, we have to go back from 3 to 6. Whenever we go back from 3 to 6, let's remove it from the stack. So we are now going from 3 to 6. So remove 3 from the stack. Now to insert 7, we have to go to the right of 6. And we also learned that once we enter the right side of a node, we cannot go back to left. And we don't need the root also. So we don't need 6 also onto the stack. So we'll remove 6, on the, 6 from the stack and insert 7 to the tree. As soon as we insert, we have to push it to the stack. Now our stack has 7 and 10. Then comes the node 13. To insert node 13, we have to go back from 7 to 6 because 13 is greater than 7. We could have inserted it to the right of 7. But if we go to the ancestor 10, 13 is greater than 10. So it cannot be part of the left side of the uh, root 10. And to go to the right, first we have to come back from left to the root. So we came back from 7 to 6 and also we have to come back from 6 to 10. So we are moving backward two times. So remove from the stack two elements. Now uh, we don't have anything that is related to left side or to the root. Now insert 13 and insert it into the stack, push it onto the stack. Now we have the node 12, which falls to the left of the uh, root node 13. So 
insert the 12 and push it onto the stack. Then we have 15. To insert 15, we have to go back from 12 to 13. So then uh, we have to make sure that we remove the all references related to uh, left side and root of the subtree from the stack. So remove 12 and also 13. Then insert 15. Now insert, uh, push 15 onto the stack as well. So this is a proper binary search tree pre-order sequence since we reach it to the end of the array without any problems. Now let's see how this works for the second example. We have node 10, we'll push it onto the stack. Then we have 6, push it. 3, push it. 7, we have to backtrack. So we have to pop it from the stack and insert 7. So we removed all references for left and root of the subtree. Now insert 7 onto the stack. Now we have 5. We cannot insert it to the right of 7 because it is less than 6. So this is not a valid binary search tree pre-order sequence. Let's look at this uh, approach from stack perspective. What did we do? We have uh, 10, 6 and 3 onto the stack. Uh, every time uh, we uh, pop an element from the stack, let's uh, uh, put the lowest uh, element that can be inserted into the stack. So initially, low will be assigned with the minimum integer value. Now we have 7. Uh, top of the stack is less than 7. So just pop it. Then we have 6, which is top of the stack and less than 7. So just pop it. Every time we pop, just update the value of low to 6 and uh, since 7 is a valid node, we are pushing on to the stack. Then we have 13. Top of the stack is less than 13. So just pop it. Now what is the top of the stack? 10. 10 is also less than 13. So we'll simply pop it. Now the low will be 10. Every time we pop, just make sure that you update low because low will specify what is the lowest value that can be inserted onto the stack. If a number is less than low, we cannot insert it into the stack. We have seen this scenario in our example too, where the uh, when we removed uh, 3 and 6 and inserted 7, our low will be 6. And number 5 cannot be inserted onto the stack because 5 is less than 6, right? So coming back to this example, now we have 13 on the stack. Then we have 12 because it's greater than low, so we can insert it. Then we have 15. So uh, now 12, which is top of the stack, is less than 15. So we'll simply pop it. Then the top of the stack is 13 which is less than 15, so we'll pop it and the low will be updated to 13 and 5 will be inserted onto the stack. We reach at the end of the array, so this is a valid binary search tree pre-order sequence. Let's look at the same approach for example 2. So example 2, initially low will be minimum integer value, minimum possible integer value. So in the stack, we inserted 10, 6 and 3. Now it comes for the time where we have to see if the incoming node is greater than top of the stack or not. So top of the stack is less than the incoming node 7. So just pop it and check if the top of the stack is uh, less than 7 again. So pop it. Now we have 10. 10 is greater than 7. So just insert 7 onto the stack. Last popped element is 6. So the lowest value that can be inserted onto the stack is should be greater than 6. Now we have 5. Top of the stack is not less than 5. So we don't have to pop it. Now we have to see if we can push it or not. What is the lowest value that can be pushed onto the stack? It is 6. So 5 is uh, less than 6 so it cannot be pushed onto the stack so this is not a valid pre-order sequence let's see how we can put this into the code this is the problem and i'll be coding in c sharp so uh, what do we need first we need a stack to keep track of the elements that we visited so stack 
new stack of integer. Then we need a low variable to keep track of what is the lowest uh, integer that can be pushed onto the stack. So int low equals, uh, it should be assigned with the minimum integer value first. So n32.min value. Then we have to loop through each, uh, each of these uh, items in the array. So for int uh, i equals 0, i less than uh, preorder dot length i plus plus. First, what did we do when we encountered? So it, let's take this example. So first, 5. 5 is a valid node. So we just uh, pushed it onto the stack. So stack dot push is a pre order of i. Then now uh, we went to the next element which is uh, 2. 2 is to the left so we pushed it. Then 1 which is to the left so we pushed it. But when we encounter 3, 3 is greater than 1 but uh, greater than 2 as well. So we have to backtrack. What did we do when we uh, came back? We popped this element and also the root because we don't need to work with the left subtree or with the root node once we enter right side of the root. So how do we put this into the code? I'll use a while loop. Uh, we have to make sure that the stack is not empty because we are popping from the stack and we cannot pop from an empty stack. So stack dot count greater than zero and uh, what is the condition? Uh, so in our, when did we push this when the uh, so previously when I pushed this this was my uh, top of the stack then we have uh, 3 so 3 is greater than 1 so we popped 1 then uh, top of the stack is 2 so 3 is greater than 2 so we popped it so pre order of i uh, 3 is the incoming node which will be given by pre order of i and as long as this 3 is greater than top of the stack. Stack dot peak. What do we do? We'll just pop it. Stack dot pop. And our popped element will be the new low. Why are we updating this low? Because uh, assume this case. Before inserting 3, we are popping 1 and we are popping 2. Once we pop 2, we cannot insert an element which is equal to 2 or less than 2. Because we have already moved to the right of the 2, right? So any value which is less than or equal to 2 cannot be pushed onto this binary search tree. So we will be updating the low. And uh, in this case, this is a, a valid uh, binary search tree. But we have seen one example where uh, there was 7 here and we were trying to insert 5 which cannot be inserted because this value is 6. So this is already removed from our consideration. So any value which is less than 6 cannot be entered. And how do we verify that in a uh, code? We are maintaining the low variable for that purpose. As long as we can pop the element, we'll pop it. But once we pop it, we have to also consider whether that item can be pushed onto the stack or not. How do we do that? The incoming item, which is pre-order of i, should not be less than or equal to low. So if it is less than or equal to low, we already know that this is not a proper pre-order sequence. So we'll simply return false. Now we have our loop ready. If this loop is completed successfully without entering into this if block, that means given array forms a correct pre-order sequence. So let's run this. The test cases are successful. Now I'll submit it. The solution is accepted. So let's recap what we did. First, as soon as we uh, get an element, the first element will simply push it. But in order to push the next element, we have to make sure that the incoming element is not greater than top. 
if the incoming element is greater than top we'll simply pop it and whatever value is popped will be our new low that means any element which is less than the popped element or equal to the popped element cannot be pushed onto the stack because it it doesn't have any place to be inserted into the binary search tree because the entire left subtree and the uh, root is removed. So how do we check that condition? Using this if block. If the incoming node is less than or equal to the lowest value possible, then we'll simply return false. Otherwise, we keep adding it to the stack. Once we complete or reach the end of the array, we we are now confident that this is the proper pre-order sequence. So we'll simply return true. Coming to time complexity, we are iterating through every element of this array. So the time complexity will be big O of n. And coming to space complexity, we are using a stack. In the worst case, this stack will have all these elements. So we have a big O of n space occupied. I hope the solution is clear. If you like the content, please like, share and subscribe to Interview Pro. Thank you.